Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this webinar session. I'm Marianne, and I will be your host for an hour. The webinar will be divided in two parts. First, I will give you an, a presentation, and then you will be able to ask questions via the chat. So the topic of today is sensory data analysis. So we are going to work with two different software, the Unscrambler, that is a complete multivariate analysis and experimental design software, and Qualisense, that is a software designed to check the result of panelists. And then uh, we have three other software that we will not use today, but um, that are also part of the Camo product. So we have Unscrambler Optimizer, that is um, a software dedicated to process optimization and product optimization, and online, that is a software dedicated to online monitoring. And we have Unscrambler Connect, that is a data management strategy. So the sensory webinar will be divided into five parts. First, we have an introduction to sensory data analysis and why we are using multivariate data analysis to to analyze this kind of data. And then we will see all the different parts um, from collecting data to analysis of those data. And we will see two different methods. So the first one is the most common uh, method in MBA. It's PCA, Principal Component Analysis. And we also have partial least square regression. And we will go even a bit further using LPLS regression. But let's start by the introduction. So what can we get from uh, sensory data analysis? Now, there is three main uh, different things that we can get. So the first thing is to a description of the product characteristic. So um, usually we get a sensory profile from panel of experts. And we can also use uh, those data for quality control. And one of the most popular used is to measure at the same time some uh, chemical or industrial process measurement on the same uh, product and using a regression method to create a model that will be able to predict the sensory profile of a product using the chemical or industrial data. So it makes a cheaper quality control. Then we have the understanding of the behavior and liking of the consumer. So usually this is based on consumer study, and we want to make a preference mapping. Here we are using two different methods, PCA and regression. And what we want to do is to relate the product characteristic to the needs of the consumer. And we can also, when we have this model, make a prediction of the market response to a new product. So. The last point is investigation of competitive product and new recipe. So here we have, in general, sensory profile coming also from a panel of experts. And what we want to do is to make a positioning of the product compared to others. So we are using the method PCA. So in sensory analysis, there is a, a big problem about the data because when we are using uh, panelist data, well, we are using measurements made by human beings, so there might be some variation due to different factors. It can be, well, the sensitivity or the psychological state of the panelist the day we are measuring the product. So the thing is that the data from panelists has to be measured and test it to see if the assessor are giving a normal result, like what they are supposed to give, or if their result is a bit biased by something. So what we will see today is then to check the performance of the panel, so seeking the attributes that are the most reliable, and to see also if there is some panelists that need more, more training than others. And then we will do some modeling. So the first modeling will be to find some groupings using PCA. And then we will try to make a regression over the preference. So it will be used by PLS regression. And then we will try to introduce some background information uh, about the consumer to make a preference mapping by LPLS. So this is a sensory analysis workflow. We have the selection of the product. 
uh, that is uh, important. And then we are measuring the product in different ways. So we can make an analysis by panelist data, uh, panelist, and we will get uh, data from panelist. And then we can uh, get some consumer and we can have some information about the consumer. And on the product, we can also measure some chemical data. And then we are going to check the data. And this is the tool that we are going to use in, um, in AMBA. But if you are using data from the product uh, by panelist, uh, analyzed by panelists, you get a sensory profile. If you use, you combine uh, this data with some uh, background information about the judges, you can get a preference mapping. And if you relate the data from the product to the to, to some other kind of data, like chemicals, you can uh, get a relationship between those two and use it for quality control. And in blue, you have all the different uh, methods that we are using.